This function is really straightforward, but I use it a lot when I'm trying to get through talking heads very, very quickly. Press L to play the clip, and then press L again, and you actually double the speed of the clip, or quadruple the speed of the clip, or octuple the speed of the clip. So by doing that, and it works in reverse as well, you can play through the clip very quickly. Now most of the time, I will go for the double tap option, because that means I can still hear what's being said, and I can make judgments on whether I need to make a cut without having to um, pause, go back, and listen to everything again. So it's a very easy way of getting through your footage at twice the speed that you would normally be able to. On top of all of that, if you're going through like this, you could be looking at the waveform, and you can see if, say, there's a section, and indeed, let's roll this clip out, because I'm sure there'll be a section somewhere in here where I've made a mistake. Yeah. So you can be skimming through, and you see there's a section just here where it's blank, I know that coming up to that, there's going to be some kind of mistake or some kind of pause that I need to take out. So I can make a cut just here, and I can just go quadruple speed through this, and then I can trim up to the end of that clip. Obviously, when you do this, you are going to want to be listening to what's being said so that you actually get the content correct and you make it coherent, but it's a very good way of getting through your edits much more quickly. It still does require probably that you listen through once everything is done at normal speed to make sure that it's coherent because what you can find is that gaps when you're listening at double speed don't seem too long and when you go back and you listen to them at normal speed actually you find that they feel like they're just hanging too long. So you can find that it actually influences how you think the edit's going, so it is important to still do that standard speed double check when you're going through. But just pressing the L key twice, and it works in reverse with the J key, and of course you've got stop just there as well. You do have start stop within the space bar just here, but because that is starting and stopping, it's not dealing with the functionality of fast playback, so that is exclusive to L and J.